Hello, uh, welcome. My name's David Thorne. Um, I'm from Thorne uh, Web Design. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be teaching you about JavaScript. Okay, actually, it's going to be a whole series uh, about JavaScript, um, and this is the first one. Okay, you're going to be able to find all of the the JavaScript tutorials underneath the JavaScript playlist playlist uh, if and when I make it, which should be when I upload the videos. So by the time you're watching them, you should see it there. Um, okay, first things first is if you don't know anything about JavaScript, um, the question which you're going to be asking is what is JavaScript first of all? Okay, well JavaScript um, with regards to uh, websites, okay, that's what I'm, I'm really talking about. It's only for websites. JavaScript can do many other things with many other applications and many other program lam languages and so on, but we're only going to talk about what it can do with websites, okay? And web content specifically. Okay, now um, the JavaScript it more interacts with the browser, okay, and then actually uh, manipulates the page. Okay, so it's not really, although it's loaded with inside of a page, which I'm going to show you in a minute, it more works for the browser. Okay, and the browser then says, hey, this is the the, the structure of your your website and the JavaScript can then take elements out of it and take their values, their contents uh, and so on and any other tags inside of it and then manipulate the content. It can do lots of other things as well but for the time being JavaScript is there to assist you um, with providing more um, user interface um, style uh, web pages okay, that are a little bit more interactive um, than normal static pages that don't change okay so now a normal HTML page has a few buttons on it that you can submit forms and so on but that's not using JavaScript okay that's using um, different types of protocols to submit pages now with JavaScript you can you don't have to submit any pages and so on you just use the JavaScript to manipulate elements with inside of the page okay do some fancy little tricks okay so now the first question is um, how do you load a JavaScript uh, file? Okay, how do you load a JavaScript file into your page? Right, well, it's quite simple actually. You have your index.html um, or the, the HTML which is going to sit in the index file um, of your choice. Um, now, the, the, the main place to load an, a script file would be with inside of the head tag. Okay, just a point to note here I'm not teaching about HTML in this so you need to have a prior understanding of HTML really before doing this alright so um, the main script tag okay so it is loaded with a script tag now so we have the script tag and we can um, then open it and close it S the Java the script tag must be opened and closed so it must have an opening tag and a closing tag alright so what you can't do is just close the script tag like this it has to have an opening and closing script tag. Now, as you can see at the moment with inside of my um, document roots, I have the JavaScript folder, and with inside of that JavaScript folder, I have a file called script.js. Now, what I want to do is I want to load this content into my web page. So, now what we do is with inside of the opening tag, we set an attribute of source, okay to a relative path or an absolute path. In this case I'm going to use a relative path. Um, now I'm going to say JS okay, because that's the folder that it's in. Now by me using the forward slash it's telling the browser or the server, hey look at the document roots. Okay, this would be the document root in this case. Look there and look for a folder of JS underneath that one um, folder. Now with inside of that folder look for a script.js file okay this is a javascript file and yeah if you find it then load it and we're going to tell it that it's um, of type text forward slash javascript okay so it's telling you telling them what um, file type this is now with html5 which is indicated with a doc type of just html um, you don't actually have to declare the type um, attribute. Okay, um, it by default uh, implicitly um, assumes that it is 
uh, of type JavaScript. Uh, I just like to do it because I just think it's good practice just to put it in anyway and it doesn't take any more effort to, to put it in um, just for you to know that it's JavaScript. Um, okay so once you've done that y your page um, will then load the JavaScript file. Now the next question you may be asking is how can I validate if the JavaScript file has been loaded with inside of the browser? Okay, um, at this point um, the URL which I'm going to be using is youtube.thornwebdesign.com okay and if I reload the page you see nothing at all but if I right click the page and say view page source this is where it comes into it in here you can see the script tag which I've loaded now and you can see the js forward slash script dot js if I click on this it will then tell you okay there's nothing in the file which would be correct so if I put something in the file and save it and come back and we just refresh this you now see um, that it's loaded so if we click on this again we can just refresh the source we can see that it's actually loaded that um, content from that JavaScript file into our web page okay which is what we want now there's another way of doing it is going through um, Firebug, which is a handy little tool by um, you have to add, um, download the add-on. I'm not going to talk about that right now. And just come into the HTML down the bottom, and then go in the head. You see the script tag here, and then extend it a little bit further. In okay, case so it's reload to do the um, to do this, come back here, and you can see here something in the file. So we know that script has been uh, found on the server and is being loaded with inside of our head tag. Um, for later use when the body um, gets displayed. Now something to note on this, JavaScript when um, the script tag is declared with inside of the head this is loaded prior to the content being passed. Okay, So any data with inside of the head tag is first passed and added into memory. Okay, So the browser will look at it, it will pass the or it will interpret the file Okay, and it will store all of your data uh, into the memory ready for when it then processes uh, the body content. All right? And afterwards, once it's processed the body content, the browser will go back to any JavaScript and so on and say, hey, do you want to do anything um, now? Just in case before they show the page, you might want to manipulate some things. Right? But this is stuff which we're going to deal with um, throughout the, the series of these tutorials. Okay, so now that we have the, the file loaded, how can we test that it's actually going to do something? Now, it wouldn't be a JavaScript tutorial if I didn't show you this. Okay, so there's a simple, a simple thing which you can say, alert. Okay, I don't really want to show you this, but it would be wrong not to. Okay, and we're just going to say, hello world. All right, this is just going to show um, that it's worked. All right, so we saved it. We come back over to our page. We refresh. And as you can see, we get Hello World. All right, it's nothing more than that. Now, what else can we do? That's just um, displaying an alert box. We can say document dot writes, and we we'll say Hello World. Okay, and we end it with. We'll talk about this a little bit later, but for the time being, I'm just showing you um, what it does. Okay, and we do this, and as you can see here, it writes out on the page. Hello world. So there's nothing um, more to it than basically writing a web page. Okay, and if you can see here on the source, there's no information because this was done by JavaScript. Okay, therefore it's not with inside the source. It's what the browser did to it um, when it ran the script. Okay, so you have to remember that you're never going to visu visually see the text <coughs> or the data with inside of your HTML source page. Okay, because it was never there in the beginning. Okay, but we can look on um, Firebug and we can see that it's been placed there. Right, Firebug's very clever because it actually shows your the actual content of how it's being displayed. Um, there's a couple of other things um, which you can do uh, with other pop-up boxes and stuff like that, but I'm not particularly interested in showing you that at the moment because there's other more important things to show you and. Uh, and so on. Okay, so 
JavaScript is a way of being able to manipulate the page and add content to it, to hide content, to remove content and, and edit any content that's in there. Okay, You can do other things by making um, callbacks to the server, it's called HTTP request, it's XML HTTP request, but um, that's there's, there's other things which are going to come later. You might have heard of a, a something called Ajax. Okay, um, we can talk about that later. Okay, but that all um, combines together with JavaScript in a whole. Okay, so that's that's it for now. Okay, that's the first one done. I'm going to jump straight onto the second one, right? And we can go into actually doing an example of manipulating um, the web page first of all. I'm a firm believer that you can you should explain something quickly and you should demonstrate it. You should always have a demonstration. Uh, prior to actually teaching someone about how to do it. Okay, so the next one is going to be a, a simple uh, demonstration of form manipulation and the page manipulation. Okay, but very, very simple. Okay, my name's David Thorne. Pop over to my YouTube channel, Thorne Web Design. Okay, um, come and see the other videos. Um, come and say hello. Um, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. But the videos are there for you to, to look at. Okay, alright, thanks very much for your time. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.